Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick video post. In today's video post I want to show you guys another quick tip that I use on my everyday retouching workflow and as you guys can see over here today we want to work a little bit on perspective and also fixing our lens perspective. As you guys can see over here we do have the shot with the house and the house looks pretty good to me all the angles are nicely done and everything is fine with that but my perspective over here if you have a look at the fence it's going quite up and it looks quite distorted towards the background and also the pool over here goes in like this which is pretty good and then it just goes whoop straight out to nothing and this whole area over here just points out to me to be very skew and the perspective is not nice at all. So today I want to just fix this quickly and show you guys in a few simple steps how to fix this. Alright, so let's get going. First of all, what I'm going to do again on my original layer here, I'm just going to duplicate that with Command J. Create a duplicate and we're going to right click there and set that to a rasterized layer because we don't want to work on a smart object otherwise the whole transforming will be taking a bit longer. Okay, then we're also going to rename there to retouch again and we're just going to retouch on this layer. Our original layer, going to turn that off and we keep that for safety if we need to fall back onto this layer. Okay, back onto our retouch layer and first step that we're actually going to do before we even start with this, I want to create some help lines again. So I need to pull down some lines and from the side as well, but at the moment I don't really have any rulers here so I need to first get some rulers okay so I'm gonna go over to view and enable rulers so select that and as you guys can see now I've got some rulers at the top and also if I move this toolbar here I've also got a ruler on the side so first of all I can just with my mouse tool normal pretty standard mouse tool I can just hover here over the ruler and hold down my mouse and then drag down and you'll see there is a line appearing so my first line, I actually want to drop that on the edge here of the fence and just set there like it's my anchor point and jo just drop the line over there. So pretty much I'm just working in this kind of perspective. So as you guys can already see, the fence is going up instead of going straight. So I would like to fix that first off. And then I'm also going to move down another line and set it here to my anchor point to the pool. So like you guys can see now as well, the pool is going down and not straight at all. Okay, so let us let us fix those two areas quickly. What I mostly do is copy these areas and warp these areas until I'm happy with it. If you actually want to, you can also use under edit the new puppet warp tool. But I think this is a bit more complicated to work with the warp tool in this direction. So I use my old school method where I copy paste and then warp myself to death where I think this is the better technique. Okay, press M for our marking tool over here or we're just going to select our rectangular marking tool on our retouch layer. First of all, I'm just going to make a rough selection around here where I'm pretty much not on the line, I'm selecting a little bit more of the fence, not the couches, just the fence, and a little bit of the house over here, totally the whole sky, and because if I warp now, I know already that the trees will most probably warp way too much, so I'm going to select all of that until of the edges of my frame. Okay, press Command Z and Command V to duplicate and paste that. And now I'm just going to write here fence for our first layer. And now we know, okay, now we're warping on the fence layer. I'm not turning this into a smart object because this will not even bring us something. We can't go back in our, like in the filter system where we can tweak it again. So this is a once off system where you tweak it once, once at a time. Okay, go back to edit here at the top and we're going to go to transform and we're going to select warp over here. Okay, select warp and as you guys can see now we've got a nice grid around our station or our warp area that we actually want to warp. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit over here and also with the space bar just move a little bit. I'm actually going to press Z to zoom in a little bit like that. Okay, that's not going to work because I'm in the warp mode at the moment. So I'm going to zoom in with my navigator over here. And now what you're going to do is just basically warp this a little bit over here. I'm just going to go very close by over here somewhere and pull my frame or my whole area from here and warp that down a little bit. So I want to start with the edge actually over here. Just be careful with it. When you warp now you will see that the bottom here actually starts to also go a little bit rounder. So just be careful with that. 
Okay, I'm going to warp it down a little bit until the fence is almost right over here. And then I'm also going to pull the points over here just to warp my fence there a little bit. And also going to drag that a little bit. Not till I'm completely at the bottom. I actually want to warp it in that way that the line will also go with the white line here at the top. So let me just go over here a little bit and also warp this a little bit more. Obviously this image has a super high quality so it lags a little bit. Just take this up a little bit and also move it in a little bit. So we get the fence to be on the edge again. This is a bit tricky. You need to play with this a little bit. Okay, a little bit more out and a little bit more which is better now. Okay, and our line is still straight over here. It's not perfectly straight at the top. So just watch out there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hold spacebar again and just move through my image and it looks quite straight to me. Over here I can actually push it down a little bit more so the whole fence gets it straighter over there. And then as I can also see from the top our uh, image didn't warp too much. The trees, everything still looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to say OK this here at the top. I'm going to tick the box here and then also zoom out a little bit. And now you can already see what we warped a little bit with our new fence. Everything looks a bit more straighter. The perspective looks a bit better. And also the trees, everything went along quite good. If I would just warp the tool or if I would just make a selection just around here, you would see that the tree and everything warps completely down here and you would have this weird perspective going on in here. So that's why I also took a whole selection like this. So we can tweak, say, half of the image and we actually score a little bit on our workflow. Okay, press Command D, get out of that option, and now we're going to tackle the bottom part down here, which is a bit more trickier. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to work with the fence layer over here, so I'm going to turn off that and go back to my retouch layer. On the retouch layer again, press your marking tool, a rectangular marking tool, and over there, we want to also create a rough selection around here. So I'm also going to go a little bit over the jacuzzi and also over the chairs here or couches whatever you want to call it and also going to actually I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we're going down to the edges like we did before and now we're going to press command Z and command V again and just move this to the top as well okay this is our second layer we're just going to call it pool okay and in here we're going to do exactly the same go again back to edit again transform and again warp and now we're basically warping exactly the same stages as we did before so drag over here somewhere I wouldn't drag too close because it was probably would warp too much okay I'm just gonna drag over here a little bit and slowly just to see that we already warped it over here which looks good already so a little bit more and then I'm gonna pull down here just to warp it a little bit higher actually until I get my blue or the water until to the line so a little bit more and now we're going to warp it a little bit back so from the top here again I'm just going to select here a little bit and warp it down and also from the back here maybe up a little bit see what that gives me that looks better I'm also watching quite a this line that it's still straight and this one over here at the back that everything still looks good okay warp that a little bit more over here and also take it down a little bit you have to play with this a little bit until you get it right. I think it's perfect or it's good enough for now. Just tick the box here at the top and we're good to go. But now we still have a little problem here on the side. As you guys can see from the couches, they all lack a little bit and they don't look too good. So what we're going to do is create a quick mask on this. So go down here and select your new layer, new mask icon down here and you'll have a normal white mask. Now we're going to go over to our brush and select a black foreground color. Yes, we got that. Okay. And I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board again. I can change my board, my brush size over here. And also feather your brush. So press Ctrl, Alt again together. And we're just going to feather our brush a little bit. Okay, make it a little bit smaller. And basically what I want to do now is paint just the background out a little bit. Just paint out this line over here. So over here also our opacity 100%. Okay, and now I'm just going to paint really roughly over the couches here and also a little bit over here. Just want to get the couches over there. As you guys can see, we did a quite a lot of um, warping here. So just be careful with that. Also a little bit of this couch back. Be careful with the line over there. And also here a little bit. Just paint that back in. And the rest is pretty fine actually. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. 
and then we're also going to turn on our fence and I'm just going to change or put away our two lines here just go back to your mouse tool take the line and just move it out of your frame okay then I'm going to do the master shortcut quickly which is command alt shift E which basically takes all layers and merge that together in one new layer over here so we're going to call that the final layer okay and last step select all layers press command G put that together in a group and call that retouch so that was our first step of retouching this image and also just correcting our perspective over here so if I'm going to turn on our retouch layer or turn that actually off you will see the before and after the before and after so quick and easy with a few simple steps and techniques we actually changed the whole perspective a little bit and just fixed this image so i hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit my name is manny thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another tutorial bye bye